All right, guys, welcome back to the next video on the channel. And today, what we're going to be talking about is a few time researches that have come out for the start of May. Now, one of these is called A Glimpse of Daylight. This is time research based on if you bought the GoFest ticket before I think it was the start of May or be, like towards the end of April. So, this ticket is going on from Tuesday, April 30th at 10 a.m. or until Monday, May 6th at 11.59. Um, basically, people who bought the ticket between uh, by May 6th and play between April 30th and May 6th will receive this time research with a GoFest themed avatar item called the Sun Crown. Now, if you were going to buy the ticket for GoFest anyway, you could have done this just like I did, just to get the free stuff. It's basically what it is. So, there is only one out of one. You don't have to do multiple layers. Basically, you have to walk one kilometer, complete five research tasks. Spin 10 poke stops or gyms, power up steel type Pokemon 10 times, and then catch 25 different species of Pokemon. Really easy to do with the Kanto event going on at the minute. Um, and the items you receive will be Super Incubator, uh, Encounter with Sunkern, um, some XP, an Encounter with Soul Rock, and a Lucky Egg. And then you'll get this Sun Crown item for your avatar. Now, this obviously was pushed out way before the avatar um, re. Whatever you want to call it, um, can't really say it's better. It's worse, a lot worse. And if they don't revert it, I can see a lot of people leaving the game. And um, there is so much bad stuff going on with the game. It's really put a downer um, on some of the videos. But I'm gonna be optimistic. This might work perfectly with your character. So I hopefully will be able to check that out for you and show it on a video soon. Um. But yeah, this is basically going to be an interesting one. Then you get a moon one later on. So that'll be, I think, in uh, the end of May, start of June, that one. Moving on to the next time research, which is the Diancy special research. Basically, if you play between May 1st and May 3rd, you will get this special research that most people would have got at GoFest 2023 if you bought a ticket. And what this does is give you... A chance to get your own Diancy if you don't have one and there is six steps to this and um, if you already did go to go first unfortunately you will not be able to get another Diancy you will get 25 candy which is stupidly low for the amount that you would have paid for go fest tickets so this is a really bad one and I know like I said there's a few downs coming out this is a major one but we'll talk about that when we get there so the first step is spin five poke stops Power up Pokemon 10 times and catch 20 Pokemon. Dead easy, you get 5 Pokeballs, 3 Pinup Berries, an encounter with No Pass, an encounter with Rog and Roller, a Lore Module, and then 2000 XP. Moving on to 2 out of 6, you need to complete 5 research, power up Pokemon 20 times, use 20 berries to catch Pokemon. You will then get an encounter with Spritzy, Swirlix, and Sableye, whilst getting 3 Pinup Berries, 1 Incense, and 2000 XP. Moving on to step 3 of 3. Use an incense which you got for free in the previous step. Power up Pokemon 20 times and catch 15 different species of Pokemon. For this, you will get the following items. Pokeball times 15, an encounter with Onyx, 3 Pinup Berries, a Carbink, uh, 1 Lucky Egg and then 2k XP. Then moving on to step 4 out of 6, this is a big one. So if you complete 5 field research, power up Pokemon 25 times and catch 30 Pokemon, you will get 10 times Pokeballs, 10 times Great Balls, 10 times Ultra Balls. 2k XP, 2k Stardust, and your encounter with the mythical Pokemon Diancy. Now, 25 candy is not good enough. Like, especially if you're going to bring these out after the event. This this event was nearly a year ago. So really, if you weren't going to pay for the event back then, the people that did should get a second encounter. Yes, it means it's pay to win, whatever, but... These events are supposed to be massive for people to go in, you know, do content creation, get Pokemon like Dante, things like that. And then when the free one comes along, you should get a second. This is unbelievably stupid on Niantic's part. You should have a second get encounter. And I'm not going to lie, it has really put me off buying these big events because you will essentially be punished for it in the long run if that makes sense because you're not going to get a second encounter until 
elite raids, which is dumb. Um, then you've got stage 5 out of 6, which is evolve 5 Pokemon, power up 15 fairy type Pokemon, power up 15 rock type Pokemon. Really easy with Dancy. Um, then you'll get 2k XP, 3 golden raspberries, and then 300 mega energy for Dancy. It's good that they've kept these ones in. The mega energy is will be incredibly hard to get and would be basically not able to be got until uh, Elite Raids later on. But I'm glad they added it to this research instead. So you can Mega Evolve it and then gain your energy that way. And then step 6 out of 6, you've already, already done it. Just claim your rewards, you get four, uh, 6k XP, 2k Stardust, uh, 100 Diancy Mega Energy and then 25 stickers. That means you can Mega Evolve your Diancy if you want to. Now mine is already maxed out from GoFest. But it's just, this here, it just sucks. It sucks so bad. Um, it really does make people who do go to these big events, and obviously Niantic can only do it because people go to them. That's how they make their money, that's how they get, oh, they can sell you data, things like that, whatever they want to do. To basically slap players in the face for going to these events by not allowing you to have the same event later on just sucks. And like I said, it puts a real downer for me playing the game if they're going to do this continuously. So we'll see. Um, and then we do have one more, which is the Wonder Ticket Part 3. Now, Part 1 and Part 2 we've already gone over, but Part 3 is here so let's go over that right now all right guys so part three of the wonder ticket if you did end up buying the ticket you will have to go through the following stages stage one take 10 snapshots of different pokemon in the wild evolve three pokemon and catch 30 pokemon you will get one star piece five rare candy 15 poipol candy and then counter with poipol 2k uh, 2.5k xp uh, sorry 2.5k stardust and 5k xp Moving on to step two, you'll have win three raids, evolve five Pokemon, power up 15 poison type Pokemon. You will then get one lucky egg, an encounter with Skrelp, one Poffin, 2.5k Stardust, 5k XP, and then one raid pass. Win three raids, get one pass. Not good enough. Then part three, explore seven kilometers, evolve a poison type, make an excellent curveball throw. You will get an encounter with Trubbish, 15 Poipol Candy, 5 Rare Candy, 1 Incense, 5k Stardust, 10k XP. Um, this year, they keep... All I seem to be doing is doing more videos on how things are going downhill and downhill and downhill. If you have to win free raids, they should give you free passes back. Yes, I know you get a free pass every day. However... If they're going to make you use three of them passes just to do this, they should give you three passes back so you can then go and do whatever age you want to do rather than having to do this with one star age just to get the research done. So this is a big L. Just like the Diancy movement, it's just, nah. There's, I seem to be making more and more videos on how Niantic fail at different things. Obviously, you've got the Avatar system. Didn't work. The Diancy... Um, encounter really bad um, th things like this where you have to win free raids but only get one pass back really bad um, then you've got things like GBL not being fixed you've got the big world championship event coming soon and if GBL is not fixed it causes more issues for that you've got you know the new the new um, biome system is amazing like if they put as much effort into everything else that the community is telling them, it would be a sick game and will be progressing further and further every year. However, it doesn't look like they're going to do that. They don't take the feedback of players on board. Look at the 250 coin remote raid pass issue and every single player went against them. Yeah, you, you don't matter to Niantic and... The only way we can get through to them is basically by stop buying. And that's what a lot of people have done. Everyone's gone free to play, free coins, things like that. And that's why the coins have moved up to the top of the shop. Um, which is a really bad move. 
it's trying to incentivize you to buy coins to buy items in the game not only that I think there is a system coming out where you'll have free coins and pay coins and it will split the shop free or paid and you can only buy whatever's in your category if they do that the game's dead and I, w I mean I'm already starting to make less content on Pokemon Go just because it's all recycled it's a bit dull to do the same things over and over again that's why I've been moving towards Pokemon content like we've got the rival lot currently we've got Poke Rogue which is a brand new Pokemon game or from what I know it's a brand new Pokemon game and that's amazing we're gonna be doing the new update to Radical Red that's gonna be a solo series that's gonna be sick we're gonna do challenges and things within that so I have a lot more content coming out for Pokemon based stuff just because it's not the same stuff over and over and I will still make Pokemon Go content here and there but things like this really do discourage me from playing this game for content I know a lot of people like to see it but it's just continuously going downhill so hopefully Niantic do listen to the community at some point and this game gets back to where it should be which is just people having fun and let people spend money on what they want to don't increase the prices for nothing if people want to go out they'll go out if people want to stay at home and remote raid that's what they'll do so yeah um, sorry about my little rant there it's just that's how this game's going and that's why I'm moving towards Pokemon content rather than this at the minute just because this just seems like it's just continuously going downhill so let me know what you guys thoughts are in the comments on this because I feel like Pokemon Go is at a is on a timer basically I don't think it'll be here as prominent as it is currently in two years time so let me know what you guys think of that in the comments uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new like the video and i'll speak to you all in the next one